Next dollars at work, probably not the first thing you think about in the wake of a natural disaster. Six News John Chapman reports the Douglas County Commissioners heard from department heads this morning on the role the different departments played in keeping us all safe. The six first alert weather team told us it was coming and days before the tornadoes hit, Douglas County Emergency Management was preparing for the storm. We started going our level one on Wednesday. We knew the weather was coming. We start to communicate the, the issue on Wednesday with the various departments. After the storm hit, emergency management officials sent the word out for outside help. It came from other municipalities and agencies, and also a countless number of volunteers showed up to help clean up. I've seen people parking a half a mile on a county road and walking across farm fields to reach these neighborhoods uh, to actually volunteer their services. Douglas County Sheriff Aaron Hansen told commissioners 68 members of the Sheriff's Department were in the damage zones, helping with search and rescue and keeping an eye out for people trying to take advantage of the tragic situation. We did arrest two thieves, uh, one of which uh, had multiple warrants for uh, pretrial release violations for previous thefts. We did catch them, uh, we suspect, in the process of stealing uh, copper from uh, very likely an OPPD uh, working location. The Douglas County Health Department also at work, calling to make sure our area hospitals were up and running. I do believe uh, a number of them did lose power, especially up in that northwest corner of town, um, but they all had generators that kicked on right away, so there was no interruption to their operations. There was no need to transfer patients. Health Director Lindsay Hughes told commissioners the health department set up tetanus clinics to protect first responders and volunteers helping those in need. Anytime we have a major weather event like this where there are large cleanup uh, efforts. We know that people are going to get injured uh, from dirty nails, from cuts and things like that. And tetanus clinics are really important to that. County engineers were out working the roads. The work crews using wintertime methods to clear streets and keep people safe. We put plows on trucks and we started to plow trees, just push them off the road to open the roads. We helped with blocking off roads uh, until law enforcement and barricading could arrive because of down power lines, not knowing if they were hot or not. County officials say it took a lot of different departments all working together before, during, and after the storm to make things run smoothly and save lives. This is a great opportunity for us to appreciate the good things that government does in times of trouble uh, to help people. We're not done yet. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Douglas County Commissioners extended free dumping of materials damaged in the storm. This is at the county landfill and it's extended through Saturday. They say if you're hauling stuff to the county landfill, your load needs to be covered or you could face a surcharge when you check in with the load.